entered our information that we want to use, our media, into the collection section of Windows Movie Maker. Now it's time to bring it down to the storyboard or timeline in order to manipulate the information to create a cohesive product, a movie that your viewers can enjoy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the pictures that I want. I'm going to want these three pictures here. And I'm going to go to Show Storyboard. I find that this field is very easy to use with pictures and movies, while the timeline is great for sound. So I'm going to go over to Show Storyboard, and I'm going to bring my pictures in that I want to use. I've got my three pictures. Now I'm going to actually add some sound effects and music, but I know that in order to do that, Timeline is a much easier view to use to do that in. So I'm going to select my sound effect. I'm going to bring my sound effect in right where this picture starts. You see it right there. Now just to show um, what you can do with the sound effects, here we've got the sound effect. I'm going to play it right now. You'll hear it. You can see that picture is being shown for a long time on that field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the picture down. You can see there where it says duration underneath open your eyes, showing how long the picture will be shown for. I'm going to choose five seconds. But now we have a problem. I only want the sound effect to show for five seconds as well. So I'm going to bring that down as well to five seconds. Now it's actually cut off the end of that sound effect. If I click on play over here, you'll see silence while that uh, the map is on. And then when it changes pictures, we have the baby crying. Now, in order to really see a finer detail about where the information is, you can actually zoom in using these zoom keys on the clips to really make sure that your sound effects match up with your pictures. I'm going to bring it back to 9 seconds, and we're going to play. And you can see the sound starts right away. Now I'm going to bring my music in to the next clip. That's where I'm going to have the music start, right at the beginning of this next clip. And that is how you can drag and drop your information into your storyboard or timeline. Mm -hmm.